Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you, FOMC Wednesday. It's the 10th of June. Got the Aussie chart up here. Um, ridiculous pullback here. Um, after what looked like a turn. Really, really aggressive selling yesterday from 80 all the way down to the figure. Uh, now here we are back at 97. Um, obviously nothing to do here. We we squared shorts. Um, you know we traded it below 30. We resold uh, in the 60s yesterday, and then we just squared it at the close. Um, we did revisit 32. But now we have some positive news about this bad bank, um, perceived positive news, um, that the ECB is going to, um, ECB is going to put together. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh, that doesn't really matter. What really matters is uh, Powell tonight, FOMC. So not a lot to do today pre-FOMC. We're 12 hours away, so let's just take a look quickly. Looks like, with that euro bar yesterday, that the insiders think that Powell's going to be very, very dovish today. And there's no reason to think he won't be dovish. He hasn't been, he hasn't been hawkish, or he hasn't been fiscally conservative in a long time. So there'll be no mention of taper. Um... There'll be maybe some yield curve uh, chatter, trying to control the yield curve the way the RBA said they're trying to control their yield curve. That's dovish. Um, but look at this bar in euro. This smacks of, you know, insiders aggressively buying. Okay, there were some probably stops above 15 for those of us who got short euro um, in the European morning. But that was very, very, very aggressive uh, yesterday on no news. Reminded me a lot of the 30-year bonds Thursday before non-farms, which was obviously insiders, um, you know. You could argue that it's friends of politicians or whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter, but you can't have a move like that in the 30-year treasury the day before a number that comes out so wildly better. Uh, I don't believe in coincidences. So it, I'm getting prepared in my head for, for a dovish one today. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, cable. Bang up through 55 uh, just on this bad bank news um, well above the 200 day now uh, looks to be on its way cable has a lot of room up here no real resistance now until 131 so we do like cable higher even more than um, we like euro higher dollar swiss continues to grind lower um, this is the slowest most most methodical of the dollars, uh, but it's doing what it should do, uh, lower. Dollar yen, don't really understand what's going on dollar yen except for the fact that everyone got smoked, all the lungs from 108.10 got, got smoked. We'll see dollar yen today. This has probably the freest position-wise downside so no one's no one's short dollar yen I don't think um, you're in not doing much now after really digging in on the downside on 2140 stopped where it should on the charts I didn't even I wasn't even watching that yesterday um, but it's not a it's not a um, cross day today it's a dollar day dollars are I mean, looked like it was going to bullish and golf yesterday, and it did in the European morning. Here we are, 1660. Nobody has this. Um, 
if he's really, really dovish today, dollar EM is going to get slapped. Keep your eyes on the bond market. If bonds cruise higher and rates go massively lower, especially if the 10-year gets below, let's call it 80 basis points, EM is going to like that. Aussie, you know that I know that you know that I know. It's back to figure. CAD, our intrepid, idiotic currency pair friend, back down at 133.76. Again, looked like it was just going to run. 134.90, the high yesterday. Here we are. Brings us back to our old friend EuroCAD. It's not a EuroCAD day. Nothing to do in EuroCAD. We're just patiently waiting at 150.50. No positions, but we're just keeping an eye on it. This will be the big winner today also if he's, if he's dovish. We had a bit of a clean out down to 116.70. Um, and here we are. Stocks, bid, Powell, dovish, uh, more Fed assets, lower rates. You've heard this story before. Um, that's going to be the reaction. So now we just wait. Uh, we're not going to pre-trade this because we actually don't have any evidence. Um, we're just guessing about this. Um, if he is hawkish, you can just buy dollars against anything. It'll, it'll, I mean, it'll go crazy. Uh, I think the chances of that are are, are close to zero. Uh, if he's dovish, gold's probably your your number. Uh, I don't mind dollar yen as well because that's the most clean euro now. People are long euro, so this, this probably has the least to go. But we will take a peek above 113.80. Um, but again, when we make our uh, decisions on what's the best vehicle, a lot of it will depend on where things are 12 hours from now. Obviously, if euro stretches up to 114.40 for for the announcement, it's even less likely to be a vehicle. So let's just see where things are in 12 hours and then put our plans together for Jay Powell and the Funky Bunch at the FOMC. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Ciao.